Now I can look at the, in my backyard and I see the store. It's a walking distance from my home. Pharmacy manager McQuam McDeesh says he was wearing a mask and a hood to protect himself from the virus. When he stopped at the L.A. market in Columbia on his way home from work, he says a security guard confronted him. Actually, I pulled the face off my uh, my face and I veiled my face. I was like, hi, you know me now. I mean, pretty much on a daily basis, I say hi. Still wearing the mask and hood, he grabs some fruit and says the guard stopped him again as he was checking out. And then he was getting very close to me. You know, like, sir, can you keep your social distance, please? I did not even finish the sentence and he pulled his taser and he tased me. It's uh, an unbearable shock I've never experienced it all my life. I mean, my whole body is shaking and and up and down on the floor. He turned my hands back, forced my hands back. I'm like, don't worry, don't worry. I'll cooperate with you. Don't worry, don't what you need. Do what you need. And then I was crying and screaming. So he had cut me backward. The clerk at the store suggested that you had run your cart into the security guard. Did you run your cart into the security guard? Absolutely not. There was a distance between us. McDeesh is a Muslim and Tunisian American. His lawyer and the Council on American Islamic Relations are both demanding a Howard County police investigation. There's just absolutely no reason for this to have happened. Um, I mean, to for a security guard to even have a taser to me is unusual, and to use it on a customer, you know, in this manner to me is outrageous. For him to be denied service and to be tasered and to be humiliated and assaulted in in a sense this way is just not acceptable. This officer right here behind us just told, yeah, just followed us in the store. This is far from the first complaint alleging profiling of people wearing masks. McDeesh says it has got to stop. Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.